With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, the problem states that a thin circular plate of mass m and radius r has density varying as rho is given by rho naught r where rho naught is a constant and r is the distance from its center so we have to find its moment of inertia of the circular plate about an axis perpendicular to the plate and passing through its edge i is alpha times of mr square so we have to find the value of alpha okay so let's understand the concept so this is a thin circular plate of mass m and radius r and its density is varying as rho naught into r where r is the distance from the center rho naught is constant right so we have to find its moment of inertia so as this is the disc so for finding the moment of inertia we can break it into the elements and those elements will be ring right so let's say at a general distance r we are taking an element whose thickness is dr Okay, and we are finding its moment of inertia about this axis. And this element has mass dm. Okay, now as we know, the moment of inertia of the ring about an axis passing through its center is mr square, where r is the radius of that ring. So we can write the moment of inertia of the element that would be dm into r square. Right, and what is the mass? Mass can be written as density into area. Right, so it would be rho into its area so what would be the area of a thin ring so that would be length into width length is 2 pi r and width is dr so rho into 2 pi r into dr into r square this is what the moment of inertia is now what is a rho rho is not constant rho is varying as rho naught r okay so at a distance r we can put the value of rho as rho naught into r So this becomes constants are 2 pi rho naught and r into r, r to the power 4 into dr. This is what the moment of inertia is. So if we will integrate it, so we will get what the total moment of inertia and what are the limits from 0 to capital R. So it becomes 2 pi rho naught into r to the power 4. 4 tr integration is r to the power 5 tr r to the power 5 okay and the limits uh, upon 5 and the limits are from 0 to capital r so that becomes 2 pi rho naught by 5 into r to the power 5 this is what the moment of inertia is but in the answer it is given to us not in terms of rho naught it is given to us in the terms of mass so also we have to find the total mass in terms of rho naught okay so for writing the mass we can put dm as we know dm uh, dm is density into area so that is rho into 2 pi r dr so this is what the mass of the element is so for integrating it we can integrate it from 0 to capital r and this will give us 0 to capital m mass so total mass would be 2 pi and we also have to put the value of rho that is rho naught into r into 2 pi into r dr okay so that becomes 2 pi rho naught into r square dr integration is r cube by 3 after putting the limits it would become this that's what m is right so instead of 2 pi rho naught r cube we can write it as what 3m now let's put the value that becomes uh, 2 pi rho naught into r cube into r square by 5 okay and instead of uh, 2 pi rho naught r cube we can put as 3m so that becomes 3m r square 
by 5. This is what the moment of inertia is. So now we can compare it with alpha mr square. So what should be the value of alpha? We can choose from the option. It would be 3 by 5 which is there in the option B. I hope this helps you with the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.